Hey there, my name is Marcus. Oh, I'm Hervin. A little bit distracted there, but uh, we've been working together actually on a project in Africa that aims to use VR as a sales tool uh, for selling latrines, namely. Which does sound like a bit of a strange use case for the technology, but uh, we're quite excited about the project and we actually had our very first week in Maputo the, the week before this. Uh, and going into that week, we had a fair bit of uh, concerns and, and questions uh, about how VR works in, in an environment like this. Um, so we did a no had a number of days where we, we tried the technology with different people and tried to observe uh, what the reactions were like and, and what thoughts and ideas came out of this. Um, the, uh, maybe you want to cover what we did during the very first day. Yeah, sure. So one of the first things we did is uh, just spend a day with those sales agents as they go door by door to promote the bathrooms and trying to sell them. Uh, just to get a good understanding of the current sales procedure and the difficulties they face when doing so. Uh, and after that, we sat down with those sales agents. We introduced the virtual reality technology uh, just to get their first ideas on how that could add value to their sales uh, pitch. So basically, we want them to increase their sales. And yeah, what stood out is that they were all very excited uh, upon first seeing the technology and they already started thinking about um, how it would add value. Uh, for example, by giving people a better understanding of the dimensions of the toilets, the materials used, uh, which they can't achieve with the pictures that they currently show. Um, so they felt this would definitely trigger customers uh, towards that purchase. Yeah, and then uh, on the uh, third day, we also wanted to try uh, or give VR to some people that maybe we wouldn't have encountered when we were talking to these sales agents. So we ended up setting up shop at a uh, public market actually and uh, just sort of grabbed people from the street and we had everything from from uh, older women to, uh, to younger men and uh, everything in between uh, and uh, I think that was one of my favorite days anyway because mm. it, it sort of uh, got rid of some of my apprehensions about uh, using the technology in a place like this uh, no one thought there was any witchcraft involved and uh, everyone was actually grasping the technology and how to use it really quickly. Uh, something that, yeah, I guess I learned about that was just how intuitive the medium is by nature. I mean, it's not what you're doing in VR generally or at its most basic it is nothing different from what you do in actual life. You know, you're looking, moving your head to look in a different direction. And uh, 6 year old women were grasping that as quickly as the, the younger boys were. So. Uh, that, that was a really good sign, uh, showing that there wasn't too many like scares when it came to, comes to using this technology. Yeah, great. So that all sounds exciting. Uh, I'd say so. But of course, we want to do a lot more development and testing. So uh, we got a great, great team in, uh, in Mozambique. So we found a company that can produce our first prototypes. Uh, so we'll try different experiences and have sales agents delivering them during their sales pitches. Um, so we very much look forward to the first test with our own prototypes, which we'll probably share with you in our next video.